Our verse for today from Paul's letter to the Galatians is Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. This verse from Galatians 2.20 is a very significant one for me because it takes me all the way back to 1991. Uh, I was living, Jill and I were, outside of Philadelphia, and I became involved with what was going to be the 1992 Greater Philadelphia Billy Graham Crusade. And uh, through my involvement and my work on the prayer committee, I met a very devoted Christian man who was a member of a group called the Navigators. Some of you may have heard of them. They're a ministry that really focuses on discipleship. And one of the things they emphasize is scripture memorization. And this uh, Christian brother was kind enough to give me a Navigators tool, if you will, for memorizing scripture, including a whole bunch of scriptures, and this is so long ago, they weren't on a cell phone, they were printed on paper, and you tore them off, and they were wallet sized so you could carry them around in your wallet. And this verse was the very first verse that they encouraged people to memorize and to take to heart, because it's about the transformation that comes when we become a Christian, we are crucified with Christ. It is the death or the end of our old and our former life. And Paul says, I no longer live. The life I live in the body, I now live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Now this is speaking to the fact that we are not justified, Paul would say, by works of the law, but through our faith in Christ. And we also our union with Christ, our union with Christ, it doesn't mean that our own personality is destroyed or that it disappears, but rather that our personality is now sustained and shaped through our relationship with Christ. And it's similar to what Jesus says in John chapter 15 where he says, He is the vine, we are the branches. Apart from me, you can do nothing. I pray as you go about this day that you will think of the life that you now live. You live by faith in the Son of God who loves you and gave himself for you.